All right, today I want to show everyone uh, a pedal that I'm building called the Microaggressor. This is a pretty cool pedal. It's based off of an old pedal called the Electrofuzz. Uh, this is a little bit different because I'm using different diodes in the end of it because this pedal doesn't have a lot of uh, output and with the original germanium diodes the output was even less. I have one on my board. I'm calling it the Microaggressor. My company is called Dad Tech. This is available at SweetwaterGearExchange.com. And uh, I'm going to play blues blues through it. This is a really great pedal. Really great pedal for, for turning it up all the way and then just using your guitar volume knob to adjust the level. It cleans up really good. I like to play like bluesy licks through it. And then I just back it off, and then I do some of my jazzy licks. And uh, I kind of intentionally made it, tried to make it look like a, uh, like a silver face Fender amp, like a tube amp, because this works really well w with an amp like that. Uh, right now, I'm actually playing through a black face Fender Bandmaster amp, and uh, I'm g I have a digital reverb pedal in front of it. It's a Behringer, and you're gonna hear the clean tone, and then I'm going to turn the unit on. And you'll hear how dirty it gets. But the great thing about it is, is that you can get dirty and clean just from using your volume knob on your guitar. So we'll hear what that sounds like. So you see what we're working with. So we're going to turn it on. We'll see how loud it gets. <laughs> So that was all microaggressor. I'm just using my volume knob on here. So it cleans up really good. But then when you t turn on your volume knob all the way up, it's that dirty. This is what it'd sound like with the same. That's with it off. off. Off.
but I'm turning the volume back up. down but then we're gonna turn off the unit so we hear what the difference so this is what it sound like if it was if it wasn't on at all with my lower volume on my guitar then we we turn it on with the lower volume on the guitar <laughs> Okay, now we're going to turn the volume on the guitar up. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. This is my favorite one that I build because it's it's a pedal where you can just kind of keep it on and it doesn't really get to be too much and you don't really have to adjust it once it's set. I just run it usually full up all the time. Here's the pedal. I just turn the volume up all the way and then I just make the adjustment with my guitar as I play. But this volume knob, it actually is handy because I was playing through like multiple amps yesterday and... I thought that it, it, it was actually kind of useful to have this volume knob just to kind of take it off a little bit. So, so sometimes you could run your amps really hot and then you could just kind of turn it down a little bit. And then, so that that's why it's on there. But I, in generally, if I'm just playing through one like conservatively loud amp, I just kind of keep it up all the way and just use the adjustment through my guitar. So let's hear it with some wah pedal. Back to clean with just the volume knob change. So it gets nice when you just roll back your volume. Volume all the way back up. Nice boost.
right, so this that's the microaggressor. The reason I'm calling it the microaggressor is because the circuit is very small. It's a single transistor. It's not very difficult for me to make, and so this is, I'm building this to be my most affordable pedal. Now, I have some listed on Sweetwater Gear Exchange right now. I, I, those prices are good for now, but uh, I'm thinking about if when I make more of them, I'm probably going to raise the price. But I want everybody to to know that uh, the graphic on here is printed off with a, a printer. So it's it's not like the most professional looking uh, up close, and it's a little bit lifty on some of them. I'm gonna figure out how to how to make them look better, but the pedal and the circuit, I mean, they sound good and uh, they look pretty good from a distance. Um, I'm not really that much of a graphic artist. I'll I will probably get some decals eventually, but I'm I'm trying to make these affordable. It's all hand wired. These are built on perf board, and so it's all hand wired. It's no PCB or anything like that. Uh, I might get PCBs someday, but but my rationale is that I like to make a bunch of different kinds of pedals, and so if I print PCBs, I'm not going to get a real good price unless I print a lot of them. Is my understanding of the situation right now? But I like building them on perf board. It's fun. Um, so. That's the microaggressor by Dad Tech, and Dad Tech stands for Detroit Analog Devices, and so this is my favorite, like old school, type of sound of a pedal. Uh, I I get a little bit sick of some of the fuzzes and and some of the stuff that I build, but I I usually consistently like using this. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, and when someone asks you where you got it, you, you say, "Dude, you're getting a Dad Tech." And uh, you don't have to tell them how much you paid for it. You could you could pretend you paid a lot of money. <laughs> you could say that it, that you paid a lot of money for. Uh, but I'm making them affordable. I don't care. All right. See you later. All right. Bye bye.